The, the member of parliament said $11 million have been paid. He hasn't seen any work on the ground. I think he was reading from the Auditor General's report. Yes. yes. Okay. And then the governor said the monies were paid by the, the monies were authorized by the Comptroller and Accountant General. So I would have wished, well, the footage didn't uh, end at the point, but I would have wished that immediately, with these sums of monies, and with the governor of the Bank of Ghana admitting to the payment and saying that he doesn't know much about the work on the ground for the payments, but the payments were requested by the controller. In with that testimony, I would have wished that the chairman of the committee would have adjourned proceedings of the committee for an hour or two and summon the controller and accountant general to show that if that office authorized the payment, they, they could provide some the information because um, this was uh, the, the, the sums of money involved are huge and this was a life event and as I sit here I'm wondering if indeed payment was authorized by the controller and from the footage it looks like there wasn't much work done the member of parliament has stated there was no work done the Bank of Ghana admits the payment. He says he doesn't know if any work has been done. He's a controller. So um, that's what I would have done. If I was the chairman, I'd say, let's suspend proceedings for an hour or two. Let's get a controller to come and clarify this matter. But that didn't happen. Uh, but I got a, uh, an input from one of the committee members okay. on this matter. And he says that the state contracted a company to construct the Polugu irrigation project. The cost of the project was about $250 million. Now, the contractor applied for 5% mobilization, mm -hmm. backed by a bank guarantee. Now, the 5% mobilization forms part of the preliminaries in the contract, at which time you literally will not see anything on the site. Um, but that does not mean that the contractor has not mobilized. That insurance, cost of payment guarantees, vehicles, etc., are all, they all form part of the preliminaries. Now, the project that's the irrigation, the poly has stalled because for the irrigation scheme to be built, the Polugu Dam must be completed. But unfortunately, the dam itself had stalled because of funding when COVID struck. Um, and so that is why you will see a payment to the contractor, but not much work on the ground. It says the irrigation scheme can be carried out, but it will be most optimized if the dam itself that will supply the water is complete. So the two projects would go in tandem. But unfortunately, the dam has stalled because of the funding problem. This message doesn't help matters at all. No, it's okay. You let me, I haven't finished. Mm. So this, um, uh, your colleague, he says that we are jumping the gun. We need to know what has happened to the project, what activities were certificated for payment. Um, and so in the absence of fuller information is unfair and premature to start raising suspicions about corruption. And it says that the Navrongo Central MP uh, says that whenever he drives past Paul, he doesn't see anything. That the project goes beyond the roadside or what you see along the road. Such a project involves a lot of off-site activity and soft stroke intangible waste. And it concludes that mobilization, as the word implies, is basically paid to contractors to mobilize to the site. Um, and under this Polugu project, the mobilization was not paid in full. The government couldn't pay all, and that also affected the progress of work. The Greek Committee of Parliament was there in 2022. Um, aside the payment challenges, there are plans 
to resettle communities that will be affected by the irrigation <laughs> project and so on. So this is what... But and for I, me... Are you saying that this person I can, I is a this. member of the Public Accounts Committee? Yes. But for me, like I said... So I if, he's, have, if he's saying that no, no, the, I mean, the, the, the dam project must precede the irrigation project, why are we he's, he's the offering project? He's offering an explanation for the money. He a, says, he say, for what I get, he says the money is for mobilization. And it's supposed to be a percentage of the and so on. But my, and when, my, he was, I'm just, when he was listing the mobilization, he mentioned fiscal items like cars. Where are the cars? So yeah, when well, you, so, well, so, the, so it's contradicting. But so Anna, there was something breath, interesting about breath, text, you can't see uh, mobilization. Uh, his text suggests that fiscal items his text too. suggests that there are two separate projects. Projects. The dam and the but irrigation. one is dependent on the other. Yeah. 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 So for the dam, for the irrigation project to be successful. Mm -hmm. The dam should first be constructed. Yeah. That's the point he's making. Yeah. yeah. And that is that, that two should be in tandem. Okay. Because you don't want to finish one completely, okay. then you're going to start but, another one. But somebody took the decision that we should pay this money as mobilization for somebody to go on site. For the uh, irrigation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Somebody took that decision. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, so for me, like I said, the control, according to the governor, the controller authorized the payment. So, for the controller to authorize the payment, he must have something in front of him that made him take the decision. And if we had gotten the controller, I don't know, this was, was it yesterday? I think so. Yeah. And I'm sure they'll continue today. Maybe today they can get hold of the controller. I would have stopped proceedings immediately and asked that the controller be elected and brought to provide clarification but we don't see that from the footage but i'm sure today the controller will be there um, to tell us to tell the committee the basis of the authorization of the 11 million dollars mm -hmm. and then we'll, so we'll if see we don't if we don't um, get the the rest of the money the 11 million is gone down the now way. well let, let the control because i mean <laughs> you can't let it go down the drain the, the, the Bank of Ghana, the governor himself has said that, yes, the payments were done. The payments were authorized by no less a person than the controller. So let's get a controller and then let's see if the proper justification can be offered.